Hey, what's up, my fellow defenders? This is Chris, and of course, welcome to my channel. So we had Ben Bernanke talk today, and uh, to show how much people are getting tired of his little shtick, as we will, after his speech within an hour, the Dow Jones dropped 19 points. Um, I don't think people really believe that they are not going to do QE3 or whatever they're going to talk about at this point, or whatever they're going to call it. Um, they give good speeches, but then we all know what's going to happen. So be prepared for that, because there's always going to be distractions where some emergency happens to come out of nowhere. And the one thing that I've learned about the pattern is it tends to go in groups of three, which means... Um, what will basically happen is the theory behind that, why they say things come in groups of three, is by the time the third goes, and there could be potentially a fourth, but it's not always necessary, by the ter time the third comes, you no longer talk about the first one. You, se you tend to forget it. So that's why if you only have one event mysteriously happen, um, people will focus on it. But... Um, you have two or three events within a certain period of a time where you want to distract people and they're all of course naturally caused again I'm gonna use my quotes naturally caused and people start forgetting the beginning ones so I would expect if we know how our government works that um, right before the end of this month there'll probably be some kind of events happening now they don't have to be major I mean they could be like things like um, Senator Weiner, with his, uh, you know, apropos his last name, but he does all those uh, texts and sends pictures to these porn stars and stuff and teaching them how to lie. And yet, of course, you know, he'll get away with it and no one will care and he'll have his job. So it's just another lying government official. What a surprise. And then the thing that kind of bothered me today was the president's reaction to the speech. And he said, in, and I quote, that I'm not concerned about a double-dip recession. I'm more concerned about the jobs not cre being created like I wanted them to. But uh, if you think about it, these politicians, pretty wealthy. So double-dip recessions, of course it's not going to be a concern to them. You know, when they're driving around in limos and private jets and everything's paid for them and they live in nice little mansions and, you know, they're going around celebrating at $10,000 a plate events, of course they're not going to be concerned about double-dip recessions because they don't have to worry about coming up with $10 just to buy some gas to put in your car to go to work while you're, you know, you're, all these people are losing money left and right. So... I don't know, just when will it be where it will be where no one can really pay attention to them anymore and take them seriously, and yet they're still allowed to just run the country. They're running the country, all right? They're just running it to the ground. So um, that's one of the reasons why I started this channel. Um, I want some people to join in on this. So far, I've had one person that wants to join in and be a part of it and start displaying his videos. Uh, that's my uh, new friend, Mateo. Um, I think it's Mateo311, so if I get it wrong, I apologize. Um, but I really want, I see so many people that are truthers and giving all this information and everything. Uh, I would love for you to be a part of this. I mean, the only requirement I ask is for somebody to make a video to send me a message so I know who you are, so it's not some person pretending to be, you know, oh, I'm interested, but yet I'm not going to show you my face. Um, anybody that's going to hide is not a person that I want to be doing this because they may jeopardize the integrity of this channel. Um, I want people with honesty, integrity, and really want to do this. And I'll trust them with my password because, you know, there comes a time we have to take put trust in people. But, you know, not for nothing, um, you got to earn that trust. So it has to go a balance hand in hand. So that's the report for the day. Um, Bernanke gave his speech, and uh, the Dow Jones, not plummeted, but it definitely dropped. So if that doesn't tell you that they don't believe him, you know, and those are, those are manipulated numbers. Just imagine what it would really be if they weren't manipulating that system. It'd be quite frightening. So be prepared just in case.
for the end of the month to the uh, first week or so of next month. You know, and it's good to prepare anyway because if you go throughout history, there isn't a civilization that lasted forever. You know, they may last some of them up to thousands of years. Uh, some, you know, last a couple of hundred, but uh, there hasn't been one that there hasn't been one civilization that started out and is still here to this day as the same power it was back in the day. So that just means it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And if you have the attitude of, oh, it can't happen to me, many a person has died because of that. So please, just um, think about your future and prepare for it. You know, I'm not telling anybody, you know, don't go shooting anyone, don't go um, selling everything that you own. I mean, look at those people on the 21st when we were supposedly having the rapture. They were people who sold everything and ended up, I mean, what do they do? So I'm not suggesting that, but if you're storing food and things like that, you know, that's always good to do anyway. So if you haven't prepared, it's not too late, but eventually it will be. Don't be one of those people. So keep an eye on precious metals. Uh, my other channel, primarily, I am now talking about just precious metals. Um, you can always tell how the economy is going by the fact of precious metals going up, especially gold. And we see gold is getting close again to its all-time high, which was only done a couple of weeks ago. So um, when I started um, collecting gold in 2006, not much of it, but what I could afford, I mean, gold at that time was about $600 an ounce. You know, that's only five years ago. And it's uh, more than doubled. So that should say everything. And um, keep an eye on silver as well. And uh, somebody asked me today, actually, um, if I've been collecting silver. I've been collecting silver as well since 2006 because it's a good hedge against inflation of the possible co or possible collapse of the dollar because um, gold and silver is real money. Um, where I've gotten it, uh, most of it was on eBay. I've gotten some from like GainesvilleCoins.com. Modern Coin Mart, a little couple of places like that. That's primarily where I've gotten most of my coins. So um, not only food and, and uh, water, like all the other things, but also precious metals. Keep an eye on them. Um, one of the places that I go to check the market is uh, the bulliondesk.com. That's all one word. Bullion, B-U-L-L-I-O-N, desk, of course, D-E-S-K.com. And they give 24-hour uh, day updates. So the market's open right now in Asia. So who knows? But um, just keep an eye on those things because they will come in handy and will give you warning signs. And just pay attention, especially when we get to the end of this month. A lot of things might be happening. Does that guarantee it will? Of course not. But uh, the prepared people are the ones that get by a little bit easier than the ones that are last minute saying, oh my, I have to go and do God knows how many things. And uh, you can't do it all at once. So... Thank you very much for watching, guys. It is 2.30 in the morning. I think it's time for me to hit the old proverbial hay and wish everybody a great night, and I'll talk to you soon. And as usual, peace and love to everybody, even my haters out there, because you know what? I want you to succeed just as much as everybody else. Thanks again for watching, and have a good night.